Hi Flosstube! I'm Kayla, the Help of Puff Stitcher, and welcome to my channel. I am joined today by nobody, it looks like. Uh, my husband is home today for the long weekend, so he is working down in his workshop, and it sounds like he's messing with something down there. Um, so if you hear noises in the background, that's most likely him, and my guess is the girls are trying to see what in the world he's doing. So, for this week, what I have got for you are an update on my whips, I've got some plans, and then we've got our giveaway winner from last week. So, jumping right in, uh, this past week in the School of Magical Stitches and Literature, we got to meet the champions for the Triwizard Tournament. So, we had five different things we had to do. Uh, the first one, I'm not even just going to say first, second, whatever. Um, Okay, the tasks that we were assigned were to do 200 stitches in a different color to represent each one, and then a fifth task of doing that again for whoever we are rooting for. So um, that was 200 stitches in blue for Bow Batten, uh, 200 stitches in brown for Durmstrang, 200 stitches in red for Harry, since he's a Gryffindor, and then 200 stitches in yellow for Cedric, who's a Hufflepuff. And then I chose to do another 200 in yellow to support my fellow Hufflepuff. Um, I also did some of the tasks for the Stitchy Quest to Destroy the One Ring, which is the group that was created very similar to Magical Stitches, but with a Lord of the Rings focus instead. I wasn't entirely sure if I was going to do these tasks or not, so I didn't mention them at all last week. Um, but what we got to do this past week in that group was meet Gandalf. So I'm going to go through it by project rather than task since I doubled it. Work smarter, not harder. So the first project that I did, this one was only for Magical Stitches. Um, I did my 200 stitches in brown for Durmstrang for Victor Crumb on my Lizzie Kate ABCs of Faith because these letters are all done in the color brown. So here's where I was last week. And let me get this open here. There go. This is how far I got. So I added on to the bottom here. So I've got trust and then use your, it's supposed to be gifts, but I didn't have to finish the word. And since this is not my favorite project, I put it away as soon as I hit my 200. <laughs> it's terrible, but I refuse to put this in my UFO pile. I will get this done one assignment at a time. So that is what I got for my brown stitches there. The next task that I did was on my Heaven and Earth Designs. And this one is Mini Loyalty. So I am working on my Hufflepuff House Crest. I did 200 stitches in yellow for Cedric Diggory. And then I did another 200 stitches in yellow again for Cedric Diggory because he is who I am rooting for as my fellow Hufflepuff. Here is where I was last week, and get the threads out of the way. This is how far I got. So I pretty much filled in the yellow. Um, this stripe does not come all the way down to create a nice line just because um, Right here in this little corner, we're getting into some of, where is it? This little corner up here in the crest, which does not count as yellow because that's more gray, silvery type stitches. Um, so I filled in what I could here, came down here, and then had to do a little bit in this box down here as well in order to complete 400 total. I'm really loving how this one's coming along and it looks really cool in camera. You know, up close you see each individual stitch, but looking at it in the camera, you can see how it all just blends together to make like a full image. I absolutely love this. It's just so much fun. So 
I completed that assignment. The next one I did, this one I did not want to put down. I absolutely love this. I did some work on my Satsuma Street Pretty Little Hawaii. Now for this task, I did my 200 stitches in blue for Bo Batten, who is Fleur Delacour. De not entirely sure how to pronounce her last name, but Fleur. Um, and I also did this as my two hours on something that reminds you of a good morning for the Stitchy Quest to destroy the One Ring group. Because when I went to Hawaii, it was for my honeymoon. And I mean, waking up in Hawaii is about the best morning you can possibly have. So with the Stitchy Quest group counting the time, I usually estimate it. I know that my stitching is about 100 stitches an hour. Um, now, sometimes faster, sometimes slower. It depends on the project. Like my Haid, those yellow stripes are pretty confetti heavy. So those ones are much slower than 100 stitches an hour. But if I'm doing some of those black stripes where it's just a solid color. Sorry, that would be Zelda barking. Zelda, stop. You're fine. I don't know what she heard. Um, but the black stripes tend to go quicker. So I just, in the middle, I'm about 100 an hour. So having done 200 stitches, I estimate about two hours. I, I'm not exact for the Stitchy Quest group. Sorry. But that is part of what makes the Stitchy Quest group pretty great, is they're not quite as exact and precise as what Magical Stitches is. So having done 200 stitches, that was my two hours. So here's where I was last time. And this is how far I got. So it still doesn't look like much of anything, but I am getting some chunks of that water done. And I do love that shade of blue, especially on this fabric. I know I was thinking about um, dyeing some of my own fabric for this project, but I couldn't think of what color would actually go well. And I looked up some images online as well from other people who had done this project to kind of get some ideas. And I really do like this oatmeal look the most. It shows off the majority, not even the majority, it shows off all of the colors absolutely beautifully. So I just stuck with this. But there is my 200 stitches in blue. And then my two hours for a good morning. And then let me get that put away because I will not leave a mess out. The next one that I did was 200 stitches in the color red for Harry, since he is a Gryffindor. Now this project I do not have a cover photo for. Um, it is a free project by The World in Stitches, which is, I believe, either a blog or a Tumblr or something online. You can just Google it, The World in Stitches. Um, they have all of the house crests on there for free, along with the Hogwarts crest as a whole. So... I don't have a cover photo, but it's the Gryffindor crest. Um, I will insert a picture here of where I was last time. And I did my two hours and my 200 stitches in red on this guy. So I did all the red that's on this side. I didn't have any red over there before. Um, so I got 200 stitches in red, and then this one was my two hours on a project that contains symbols or letters. And this one happens to contain the letters right down here where it says Gryffindor. So two hours right there. Uh, this one is being done one over one on, I believe, an 18 count. May even be a 22 count, but I'm going to guess an 18 just based on where I shop. Um, and I am having a bit of a pain trying to tuck the ends in at the end. So I may need to switch to a smaller needle just to get those stitches tucked, but I do love him. He's coming along awesome. The last one that I worked on for this week, since this wrapped up the homework, was my monogamania piece. And since I have finished my hedgehogs, which are right over there, the next piece that I'm choosing for my monogamania is my giant Harry Potter by Clouds Factory. So I got a whole lot done on this one. 
for this one this week, I completed two extra credit tasks. Just kidding. Three extra credit tasks. So, uh, here is where it was last time. And, oh, goodness. This is large. This is how far I got. So for this one, I was able to do the monthly extra credit task of 500 stitches for the Imperious Curse, because this was just something that I had to stitch. As soon as I saw that this was a thing, I believe it was Cat Lady Stitcher, who I originally saw it from. Which if you're not watching her, she just restarted doing some videos again. Go check her out. She is amazing. Um, I had to do this. I had to. I had no choice in the matter. The, uh, goodness, the next extra credit task that I did for this one was the 500 stitches on a project that has words, since this has spells along the side. It's got words. And then the final one that I did was 200 stitches on a project that has something that lays eggs. And this one has Norbert down here, who is a dragon, and dragons lay eggs. And it's also got a snake up here who I do not believe is Nagini. I'm pretty sure it's just supposed to be the basilisk. Um, snakes lay eggs. So 200 stitches on a project that has something that lays eggs. And that got me 1,200 stitches total. And thanks to that, I also finished off the task in the Stitchy Quest group to do 1,937 minutes of stitching because the book The Hobbit was written in the year 1937. And that was, I'd started my time a while ago. That was just hitting the table. Sorry for the shake. Um, I'd started that back when that task was first released. And then the task had since, I don't want to say expired, but you know they'd gone through and graded it and gotten people entries. Um, but part of this group is that when a task is done, you can post it in the catch-up event and still receive the points for it at a later time. So I carried over the 900 stitches that I had already done. Sorry, that was Zelda again. Or 900 minutes. Sorry, not 900 stitches. Uh, 900 minutes that I had previously done, and then I was able to add on the extra time that I had done on my various projects this week and got that one finished. Yay! And then in addition, I was able to put in about another 20 miles or so this week on my walk to Mordor. I've been going out for my walk in the mornings. Um, I even got my husband to come with me. Wow, oh, what day was that? One of the days this past week, I got him to come out with me. That was pretty fun. Oh, Story of the day, blue racquetball. These are amazing, and they're like the only toy she has not managed to destroy. So, this week's plans. In the School of Magical Stitches and Literature, we are working on SPEW, as Ron likes to call it. Um, it is S-P-E-W, and it is a group that Hermione founds for the Society for the Promotion of Elfish Welfare. Um, this is something that they leave out of the movies entirely. But Hermione becomes obsessed with house elf rights after hearing about Dobby's problem, Dobby's problems um, with the Malfoys and how happy he was to be free. And she doesn't agree with the essentially slavery that the house elves are under, despite the fact that the vast majority of house elves absolutely love it. So she ends up founding the society, finding, founding, um, in order to promote their welfare. So we need to do, oh, what is it, 200 stitches on different projects that start with the letters. So this can either be a project whose name starts with that letter or the designer can start with that letter, designer's first or last name. So for this week, for the letter S, I will be doing my Satsuma Street Pretty Little Hawaii and putting in 200 stitches. Um, for this week in the Stitchy Quest group, we are meeting all the dwarves and this one's going to be a color challenge. So there are 13 dwarves that we meet and you have to do 100 stitches in each of the colors. So while I'm doing my 
200 stitches on this project for S, Satsuma Street, for Magical Stitches. 100 of those stitches I will be doing in the color blue, so probably some more water. And then 100 stitches for the color green, probably up in the trees or just whatever is green that I can easily get to without counting far enough to lose where I'm at. For the letter P, pretty little Hawaii, I will be doing another 200 stitches on this again. Uh, 100 of those stitches will be in light blue. So the first blue will be some of the water, the lighter blue will be some of those lighter patches in the water. And then 100 stitches in white, which I'm thinking I should be able to get up to those clouds pretty easily. So there we go, 200 stitches right there. For the letter E, I actually do not have a project that starts with the letter E. So I will be doing my penalty stitches for this one. And this is actually the first assignment that I've had to do penalty stitches for, but I'm not gonna go out and buy a pattern just to have something that starts with that letter. That's silly. And I don't have anything in my stash either that I can start with a good excuse. So I'll be doing the penalty stitches of 300 instead of 200. And I will be putting that in on, I don't have a good picture. I'll hold it way back here. Uh, this is the May Black for the Pumpkinville sale. Um, this month is a garden that we will be working on. Um, I will still be trying to do the colors for this though. So 100 out of that 300 will be done in red since, hold it way back here so you can't see, but the baskets are done in red. Hoping there should be more than enough stitches there to get 100 out of. Um, and then I'll be doing 100 stitches in blue, which the building itself is like a dark jeans blue. And then I'm not sure what other color I will do. I may not have enough to do another color in that because for my W, I will be doing my welcome to Pumpkinville sale. Um, and I will be doing 200 in purple since two of the dwarves wear the color purple. Um, and the purple on this one will be right up here with those flowers that go across the top. And that's pretty much my plans for this week. Uh, hoping to get quite a lot done and get a solid chunk cut up on this Pumpkinville because it is not looking like I will get this finished before the next black is released. So I guess I know what I'll be working on next month once Mania is finished. Now, as for the giveaway, last week I was giving away the Debbie Draper Designs. This is Lucky in Bloom with a little cat booty sticking out of a tulip there. Um, I will insert my picture here and congratulations to Becca L. You have won this chart. So get a hold of me, either message me on Instagram, I'm the Hufflepuff Stitcher, or shoot me an email at the email listed below, and I'll get this in the mail for you. Now, this week, what I have got for you is JBW Designs. This is Friends and Neighbors. Um, this is one that was found at a secondhand store. There are no markings on it, but it also does not come with a little birdie charm down there. So realistically, I'm sure you could find a charm at Michael's Hobby Lobby somewhere that would work just fine. That way you don't need to go out and actually get a charm. Um, if you would like to enter, please be a subscriber. Please be over 18. That way it's all good for me to get your address. And then do not use the word giveaway in your answer. I want to make sure this goes to somebody who's a cross stitcher and not just somebody who's searching for the word for your giveaway or whatever. I have not had to delete any comments yet, so way to go, guys. What I would like for you to answer this week is just tell me, what is your best neighbor story? I know here we have got amazing neighbors. We lucked out immensely, and I think the best neighbor story that we have is that when we moved into this house, uh, this is our first house, so we do not have a lawnmower. So my husband went and got, you know, a little push mower, but we've got a pretty big lawn. We've got like the biggest lawn in this area. 
And our neighbor is obsessed with his lawn. Like he's out there mowing three times a week if he can. He loves it. And he wanted an excuse to buy a new lawnmower. So he gave us his old riding lawnmower for free in like perfect condition just because he wanted to upgrade to a nicer one of his. We got a free riding lawnmower from our neighbor. How amazing is that? So needless to say, we sent them a massive thank you basket with, you know, gift card for dinner and all sorts of stuff. So we are amazing. I want to hear what are your neighbor stories? Any good ones? Any funny ones? Any super terrible ones? I don't know. Let me know and you'll be entered. But that is all that I have for you guys this week. So until I see you next time. Keep it magical, guys. Bye.